It was the biggest bust anywhere, anytime. 13 tons of cocaine from the jungles of Colombia worth $1.2 billion in the streets of the United States. Ain't nobody had what they had. Ain't nobody had it for the numbers they had. So you ain't had no fucking good but to just have. Like, they had what you needed for way cheaper than what you would ever got. These young guys deciding that they were going to take over the drug business in the city. They were going to supply cocaine to all these little drug gangs out on the corners. Once we flooded that neighborhood with the stuff that we was getting, Everybody getting money. Ain't nobody really jealous of nobody. Everybody having a nice time. With their newfound money, they were making money hand over fist. So they were buying flashy cars, Mercedes, Jeeps. JBM was a lifestyle. You know what I mean? People say uh, Junior Black Mafia, but you know what I mean? Another take on that was just blowing money. Buck was one of those special type of dudes, and I mean, people see he had quality and potential to be, you know, a great leader of men. His name's a ring, you know, a little buck. You know, maybe if we went low, we go low buck in the box, a little buck will get me. In 89, that's when everything, like, really started to, you know, escalate. According to the Daily News, a lot of niggas got punished, man, you know, for being out of order. It wasn't a climate where you can you, you can get bread comfortable. Like niggas was making niggas take cars back because your car looked like mine. You talking about crazy and you talking about dealing with a lot of women, guys that are doing a little bit more of that or more successful with that particular um, trade. Cash any fuck, you know what I'm saying? They just any fuck, you know. People wait, you know what I'm saying? Wait for fuck to pull up, get out his car just to see how he, what, what he got on that day. I used to always tell him to get out of there. There's half of them cats that just around him for what he can do for them. They ain't really care about him. When Bucky Davis died, uh, Frog or Rodney Carson took over his organization in Southwest Philadelphia. But soon he was targeted uh, by law enforcement. Once he went to jail, though, he got a taste of jail and realized what jail was looking like. So that's when he uh, really took me. 